Are you throwing your hat? You guys know what's awesome? It certainly has been one hell of a weekend. We're just hoping we make it. We want to survive. It's having a mom like mine who comes through clutch at the finish line and provides me with enough food to feed an entire army. Cheese, sandwich, cheese, sandwich. More cheese underneath sandwich. Cheese goes on sandwich. We want to survive. Winning is surviving. You've been waiting for that moment to toss your cap. <sighs> it's been one hell of a day. <laughs> Well, it's graduation day. Even though they gave you the wrong gown, and you have a master's gown on right now. It's slightly awkward. I'm gonna act like it's not awkward. <sighs> Time to go graduate. Oh, these you got cats? Class. That's so sick. Oh yeah, these are my cats right here. I figured oh, no better idea, dude. Oh, to, man. No decorations. That's Jonah. <laughs> oh, it's happening. It's happening. It's too hot. Please remain standing, graduates. As final recognition of your completion of all degree requirements, you may now move your tassels. You've been waiting for that moment to toss your cap. <laughs> Congratulations on your graduation. You are going places. Woo! Much love, guys. Much love. Well, everybody, we are graduated. It's about 5.30 right now. We're having a little uh, dinner slash party. I'm probably going to be having an adult beverage or two. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to have some food. What an interesting day it has been. See you guys a little bit later. Onto this piece of shit car right here. What a poverty car. God damn it, these glasses. There's no problem re, you know, going right back to that. Jumping right back to that. <laughs> Say what up. So, Swordfish is by far the best thing on this menu right here. That's what we came here for. What are you getting? A kids meal? Some chicken tenders. It's the rye old fashioned right here. Moments later. What a day. I'm supposed to like have some sort of scripted speech to say. I don't even know why I'm talking to a camera right now, but it's crazy because I thought that I wouldn't really. I went in today thinking I wouldn't have any sort of emotion at all. Started finishing up the ceremony today. I thought back to four years ago when I was away in treatment for my eating disorder. I was so focused on just being able to live that day. That's all I cared about doing. Fast forward to today, four years later, I have accomplished something that I never would have imagined I'd be able to do because I thought I would be dead. I never expected to be able to get out of that frame of mind. I have been able to grow something myself. I've been able to grow as an individual and uh, I stumbled upon a picture. It's kind of stupid, but Facebook has this like Facebook memory or Facebook likes to put up pictures. And I was just blown away at the picture that I saw because I took it back in 2012 and I was one, at one of my sickest points I've ever been at. I looked in the mirror today. It was actually the same bathroom that I took that picture in and I wasn't ashamed of what I saw. I can actually say that I looked in the mirror and I was actually proud of the, dare I say, young man that was staring back at me. I'm not gonna go out and get completely shit-faced. I'm not going to go party my ass off. I have a big race coming up on Sunday, but I celebrate in different ways by going out and enjoying time with my family. I don't stuff my face with 10,000 calories of brownies and uh, a pizza and call that a celebration. I'm going to pass out now because I'm very tired. Bye guys. Vegan sprouted brown rice cacao crisps. Everybody, this is an all new cereal that I just picked up. I mean, it was on sale. It's gluten free. It's vegan apparently, but not limited edition. Regardless, we gotta try this out. Very, very interesting. I gotta say everybody, I have no idea what to expect from these. Looks like a cross between Rice Krispies and uh, Cocoa Puffs. So let's try it out. Holy shit, that's actually really, really good. I'm actually really blown away right now. Wow. 
That is insane. I mean, on so many different levels. So I've said this many times, but I'm not a huge fan of Cocoa Puffs. I am a pretty big fan of Rice Krispies, just because you usually can get a lot more volume out of them. And that's exactly what you can get with these too. For freaking 90 calories for 30 grams of this, which is a pretty big serving size, you're gonna be getting a lot of cereal. These are apparently sweetened with coconut sugar, and you can definitely taste the coconut sugar in these. These are mad good, wow. I have to be completely honest here, guys. I did not go into this with a very, uh, or having high hopes at all. I have to give these an overall rating, eight and a half out of 10. Go get them if you see them. The next day. Day after graduation. Let me just say that I'm very proud to have been able to receive this yesterday, and uh, I'll talk a little bit more about that later. But it is the day before the big ride. Now it sucks because I really wish that out of all the weekends that this ride could have been on, it could have just been on a freaking different weekend because admittedly I wasn't able to, I guess, really get excited about yesterday because I've just been so focused on this damn ride. This is the biggest ride of my life and um, it's so meaningful for me. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna be really glad when it's over. I will uh, take you guys through the day with me and. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in a little bit. I'm used to actually planning for eating contests. At 142 miles, I'm more focused on my meal that I'm going to be having before I go to sleep because it's gonna be starting earlier in the morning. My glycogen stores usually are pretty much topped off with how many carbs I eat before I go to sleep. At the end of the day, everybody, it's mainly going to be getting through the dirt, getting through the gravel, and just surviving. I'm uh, going to be, like I said, bringing on the bike nutrition, and there are like five or six rest stops. I set a goal for myself and started training for this six, seven, and I think even eight months ago, I really started really uh, dialing in programming and everything on the bike and really started working towards this, so I'm uh, gonna do it tomorrow. And I'm gonna make this a weekend to remember. Cheers to the oatmeal. Let's get it, guys. Alrighty, everybody, so LiftFit just came out with their new summer line. I always like to give a shout out to my boy, Mr. Nick Dompier. So you guys, again, if you have not seen his stuff before, go check out his channel. He is the man when it comes to being, I guess, like a multi-athlete. He's a power lifter, he skates, he does everything, guys. And he's got a really great channel when it comes to being informative and motivational, too. That's why I love Nick, and I love what he does. So go check his channel out and use his discount code. I believe it's NickDLiveFit. I'll include the discount code in the description below. I think I got some new stuff from their summer line. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Uh-oh, new shorts, because it's almost summertime. New shirt right here. That's sweet, I'm actually gonna rock this to the gym today. So new Live Fit hoodie right there, solid. And this is the new summer hoodie, I guess, that they just came out with too. And it's got the fresh Live Fit logo right there. And since it's summer, they're doing, I guess, these high shorts now, which are really, really cool. They remind me of like Chubbies, if you guys have seen Chubbies before. Since I already have my Live Fit shorts on, I'm gonna try these on. Let's see what these look like. All right, I approve. Well, alrighty guys, I am back from my little recovery ride. Hold on, those shades though. I gotta show you guys the new glasses I picked up, they're pretty sick. I thought I'd give myself a little graduation present. And the spies that I've been rocking since like 2015, they kinda needed to be replaced. I went to the meetup for the Belgian waffle race, had to get my uh, official sock, I had to sign my waiver and everything as well. So I am going to be, yeah, getting that all squared away for the rest of the night and I will see you guys in a little bit. I'm gonna show you guys what I got at the store. Not really, uh, I guess, relevant to the ride tomorrow. I did get some, some different stuff. I'm going to be making some sushi tonight and I did also get some stuff for that. I'm going to be doing a live stream and yeah, so I will show you guys what I got at the store and I need to prepare for tomorrow. Alright you guys, so rice cakes, rice cakes, lots of rice cakes. These are amazing. The rice crisps, but I also did get some rice cakes as well, which are over here. Lettuce. I'm not going to be doing a big, dense vegetable meal tonight. So I am going to be doing some sushi, some stuff that's just easier on the stomach. So I got some lettuce, uh, Diet a &W, of course. And then I've got some of this too. I like to just throw this in. I, it's weird guys, but I actually like to make this with my oatmeal. It kind of tastes like a corn muffin or yeah, you guys get it. it. Actually tastes really good. Give it a shot. This is what's going to be going in the oat and date bars instead of honey. I like to switch off. I don't really think, I mean, I love honey too, but I just had that last time. So I also got some cream cheese, which I'm my, most likely, ah, can't even talk, most likely going to be, put, be putting that in the sushi rolls. I need to get some shaving cream because I got to shave my legs. Um, and then after that, of course, we had to get some rice cakes too. Just again, stuff that's easier on the stomach, easier to digest, and some weird cucumbers, which are gonna go in the soup too. 
and then I had to get some sushi. Uh, what the hell am I talking about? <laughs> I had to get some crab to go in the sushi, so that's gonna go in there as well. And then I had to get some corn too. So like I said, not a lot of vegetables. I'm not really doing the strawberries and a lot of dense, just filling carbohydrate sources more easy stuff as well. So that's what I got in the store. I will see you guys in a little bit. Today's that time that I uh, need to shave my legs. Now that that's done, we just need to get the bike and food ready. I'll see you guys later. Live stream on Saturday night. We're doing it. 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 I'm sunburned as hell on my nose right now, and I hate it. New Reese's shirt. Yes. Shout out to my sister for saying that over me. And we have sushi. Just a little dab. There we go. That is bomb. That is a bomb mug right now. I should have drank Diet A&W out of this. <laughs> That'd be so sick. You know what? Fuck it. We are gonna do that tonight. We are gonna drink Diet A&W out of a coffee mug that says Bike Fuel on it. Why not? Hell yeah, that tastes extra better. <sighs> right in my life tomorrow. I finished making my first ever batch of energy bars, so I hope they stay together for the ride tomorrow. I'm gonna get my supplements and everything all squared away and set aside, and a ritual of mine is, yeah, I sleep in my cycling bibs before I go to sleep, so I'm gonna get those on and probably have a last meal, and then, um, yeah, I'm not really gonna overthink it. I'm just gonna try to get as much sleep as I can and uh, wake up bright and early tomorrow at five. Hydration is gonna be huge. So I'm gonna have one bottle of a branch chain slash amino mix, and then I'm gonna have an amino mix with some stimulants in the other bottle. I'm trying not to get super amped up about this, but I can't help but feel really nervous about tomorrow. At the end of the day, I know that I have it in me to do this, and uh, this is going to be, without a doubt, the most grueling physical activity slash event slash, yeah, that I've ever done. At the end of the day, regardless of whether I finish or I don't finish, I know that I did what I could do in order to train for this. And I know that tomorrow I'm going to give it everything that I certainly have within me to, to complete this. In regards to nutrition, it's definitely worth it to not bog yourself down the day before or the days before something like this. So I kept it reasonably light and uh, tomorrow I'm gonna be doing something I don't normally do, which is actually eat on the bike and uh, I'm gonna see how that really works and uh, I'm gonna see how I feel from that. So I'm confident that I'm gonna finish tomorrow. And again, even if I don't finish, I actually accomplished a big milestone this weekend already and I graduated from college. So tomorrow, here's to accomplishing a, another milestone and completing the biggest ride of my life and the most taxing, most grueling physical activity of my life. Of course, I'm gonna have my final meal before I go to sleep and it's usually cereal and a bunch of rice cakes. So I'll probably be showing you that right about now. You guys already know, cereal, uh, I gotta be up in about uh, seven hours. And caramel corn rice cakes. Whew. See you guys a little bit later. The next day. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to rock and roll. Well, we're up and uh, first order of business is coffee. 
That does not look appetizing. I'm not gonna lie. I thought these were supposed to be good waffles. Oh, because he's a little bit of a Did you walk up there? And I'll see you guys at the starting line. All right, guys, starting line. George and I are gonna kill it. Two minutes until we go. This is gonna be insane. Literally, rice cakes slash tamales and burritos. We're just hoping we make it. We wanna survive. Winning is surviving. Well, guys, we only fell once. Shit. Only like 30 miles in. And it turned into mush. But we're still gonna be eating it anyways. Cheers, guys. Well, four crashes and a broken rear derailleur later. Ten hours. This is my territory. Let's get to the finish line. Home sweet home. I just did that. I can't really even talk right now, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. We're back from the ride. You guys know what's awesome? It's having a mom like mine who comes through clutch at the finish line and provides me with enough food to feed an entire army. It's over there. So all of this really makes me want to get a Costco membership again. We have an entire spinach salad with poppy seed dressing. This stuff is absolutely amazing. It's got like strawberries and bacon and cheese and all that. Croissant sandwich platter. Yes, yeah, so I'll be digging into this very, very soon. Uh, and then also I had to go to the store as well. This stuff is on closeout. It's a uh, gluten dairy-free pizza and it was, I mean, it was only freaking 250. So I really, really like the kefir. That's how you say it. So I'm gonna have some of that tonight as well. Tuna, I'm barely coherent right now. So sorry guys, Brussels sprouts and some almond breeze. Ready whip right there. I'm um, gonna grub down soon. I just need to get a shower. Cheese, sandwich, cheese, sandwich. More cheese, underneath sandwich, cheese goes on sandwich. Boom, we have pizza. Oh my goodness gracious. It's been one hell of a day. I don't plan on eating all of these or half or a quarter of these. Honestly, I just really think pizza's amazing right now. So I'll probably be eating that first. Why not celebrate with some pizza? Right? Thanks, Mom. Oh, man. I just, that, uh, we lost some cheese. Oh, well. Solid money shot is solid, let me say. I haven't had a croissant in what feels like decades. So guys, I just want to say that it certainly has been one hell of a day. <laughs> one that I will always remember. Let me just put it that way. I love how I'm just casually eating a tray of Costco sandwiches. <laughs> Life. Well, I mean, I did ride 135 miles today. Today has been epic on many levels, but really, my entire weekend has been epic on so many levels. I graduated from college and I also completed my biggest accomplishment in my life. I mean, in actually a physical accomplishment and that means so much to me. I honestly, I can't really even begin to describe to you guys how elated that I feel. You know guys, it's, I, I can really go into how the race went. I can go into so many different specifics on everything. I'm just proud that I finished. Unfortunately, I did crash and I actually bent my rear derailleur on my bike so I was essentially in a single gear the entire way home and that was at mile 50 and when I crashed I actually hit my head so I'm feeling a lot better now but I'm hoping that I don't have a concussion I'm just glad that I made it through and that I'm still alive shit happens right shit does happen this is a roast beef I think anyways everybody I won't go on too much longer I will say that if you guys want to know really how I did in the ride and the entire ride and how everything went. Like I always say, I do have a second channel, so be sure to go check that out. The link will be in the description of this video. I'm gonna be putting up a full, uh, holy shit, I just realized I actually have wraps. Oh, these are the good ones. Oh, sorry. 
ADHD kicking in. What was I saying? I do want you guys to go check it out because I have been mentioning it a lot more lately. Guys, this is an epic race that 1700 guys usually start and then I think like a couple hundred finish every single year. And uh, yeah, I wanna document it. So I got a lot of good footage on the ride. If you guys enjoyed the video, definitely let me know down in the comments below. Like always, everybody, it's been an epic year and I certainly have accomplished a lot. I, in this weekend, I freaking got my degree in college and I finished the biggest ride of my life. If you haven't already, follow me on my social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. You know the drill. Thanks again for watching the video, guys, and go ride a bike while eating some sandwiches. Cheers, guys.